no, I can't do this. No, 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 no. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Oriana for those of you that don't know and today's video is going to be quite a fun one. Well, I don't know if it's going to be a fun one, but it's definitely going to be different. It's going to be a scary video. So, if you get scared easily, keep watching. <laughs> So if you haven't already, just be sure you hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. My upload days are Wednesdays and Saturdays. Guys, it is literally hot as heck. I had my hair down, but I can't even. Like, this Florida weather is horrible. So, yes, I am outside. If you hear the wind or in far away in the distance, you can hear people mowing their lawn. Or you might hear bugs or birds. So, yeah, I am outside of my parents' house. I didn't want to film this inside the house because I'm gonna be talking about stuff that happened to me at my parents house inside but I'm too scared to like do this video by myself in there because of what I'm talking about today so I'd rather be here outside I thought the weather wasn't that bad but actually I'm kind of melting so that's kind of whack for today I got me some grapes and some Oreos and of course some awa so grab yourself a snack and drink and enjoy this video with me. So I'm the type of person that does like to watch scary movies. I don't mind if it's scary, if it's paranormal, if it has to do with demons, or if it's really gory. Like, I like to watch that stuff, but I'm also a big scaredy cat. So I like watching stuff like that. But when it comes to real life and stuff, like, I am a believer in that kind of stuff. I feel like if you believe in the good, you have to believe in the bad. Honestly, I feel like ghosts really do exist like obviously never seen one but i still feel like they exist or like spirits or something like that not that i've ever had an encounter with them or anything but i've had these weird situations at this house right here and i'm gonna be sharing with you my, like my scary stories or scary experiences here at this house okay so let's just start off with the first story that i remember really well <sighs> this one is weird like it just ugh, it's weird okay okay so i used to work with my mom and i used to always set my alarm in the morning on my phone but i grew like such a big hate for it that i just wanted to stop using it so i literally like one day decided like i'm not gonna put my alarm on anymore and <laughs> because of that like my mom would have to come wake me up every morning she would be like knocking on the door i'm gonna wake up get up it's time for work and stuff like that I was already used to her waking me up for work every morning because i was tired of hearing the alarm so i was like you know what so one day I was sleeping right and I heard a knock on the door so you know when you first wake up right and if you're not in a rush you just open your eyes you're kind of like becoming aware waking up and stuff and then you like stretch or then you get up or something like that well that day that she knocked on my door there was none of that I literally I remember when she knocked on my door I straight I just sat up like instantly like I just sat up and then I like look at the bottom of my door because like there's like a little opening on the bottom of my door that if there was a light on you could see that there's a light on but there was no light on and she didn't say anything so I was just like what the heck and I look at the time and it's six o'clock not only that it's six o'clock on a Saturday so it's not even a work day for me so I was like what the heck and I don't know what I did I guess I just fell back asleep or something and then later that morning, like, I get up, I, I go to the restroom and stuff. And, like, the restroom is right next to my parents' room. So my parents were, like, they had the door open. My parents were on the bed, and so was my little brother. And they were like, Ariana, why are you so lazy? Like, why are you barely getting up? I think it was, like, 8.30 or 9 o'clock or something like that. They're like, why are you barely getting up out of bed? Like, you've been up since forever. I was like, what are you talking about? I just woke up right now. And they're like, nuh uh They're like, you didn't wake up earlier? I was like, no, what do you mean? I just woke up right now. I'm barely using the restroom right now. And then they're like, what the heck? They're like, earlier, we heard all this noise in the restroom. Like, my parents were even like, damn, why is Ariana making so much noise? And they said they heard the toilet flush and everything. And then when they said that, I was like, what the heck? And then I asked them, at what time did that happen? Bruh. They fucking said six in the morning. And that's when I was like, and then I told him my story about what happened to me at 6 in the morning that same morning. Bruh. Now, I don't know. I don't know, because that stuff is scary. 
so that was like one experience that was like crazy because both me and my parents went through it at the same time and it was creepy like every time we would have a new experience like that i would be scared for a few days okay now this is another one that happened like to me i guess but like i don't know okay so i used to sleep on the phone every night with my boyfriend we would sleep on the phone because it would be to the point where I didn't like sleeping. Like, since I slept by myself, I didn't like being in the quietness. So I would be on the phone with him just in case, like, anything happened. I could quickly tell him, like, babe, get up. Like, this is going on. Like, call the cops or something like that. Or anything. I was just that paranoid at that point. So I would sleep on the phone with him every single night. And he would wake up for work before me. So he would always like wake me up and be like, all right, babe, like I'm gonna go to work, like I love you. What the heck was that? I'm about to go home. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm such a scaredy cat. But anyways. So every morning, like, he would get up for work and he would tell me, like, all right, babe, like, I'm gonna go to work now. Like, I love you and all that stuff. All right, bye. And whatever. And he said that this, there was this one morning where he was barely about to, like, open his mouth to say bye to me. But before he did, he heard the voice of a man say hello. And he was just like, the fuck? And, um, I don't remember what he did if he just, stood, like, sat on the phone or if he... Um, hung up the way he told me that bro I was like what the f like what the hell like a male voice before he even said anything he heard a male voice say hello so I'm just like so that was another one and I swear there's been like so many weird instances where things like that happen it's just so freaking weird but you know how like they say that dogs can like see spirits um and you know how like they say that dogs can see them or like they can sense when they're around and stuff well we had a dog here that she was like a really big crybaby so whenever we would get home she would bark but it was like a bark like a whiny bark not like a mad bark it's like a whiny like oh come play with me like you're finally home like come play with me like you know stuff like that but whenever someone would come like our neighbor would come once in a while to visit or whatever or whenever anyone that doesn't live here would come she would bark but in a different tone like obviously that defensive barking like she doesn't like you kind of bark like you know that bark you know the difference between a whiny bark and a, a defensive bark so there would be those moments where the dog would be barking but like the defensive barking and she would be looking right into the air like if there was something there she wasn't looking at the ground she wasn't looking at a wall she was looking straight up into the air and barking with a defensive ass bark and she would just go on and on and on she would do it in the room downstairs and she would do it when she was upstairs like i remember one time i was sitting on the kitchen table and i was i don't even know if i was eating or anything i just know i was sitting there i was probably just chilling on my phone and she starts barking around where my feet were she was looking at like if, it's like if she was looking at something where my feet were and i was like bruh don't do this to me bruh so that was another one too i'm telling you like i legit believe in this stuff like you don't understand once you undergo a bunch enough experiences like this you're like okay what the hell what is this i'm legit paranoid right now even though i'm just talking about this and i'm outside bruh we got my boy over there cutting the grass right now so that's great we're gonna be right back i'm back the guy's still cutting the grass This video might be kind of a fail. Okay, I think he's done. So because of that guy, I kind of lost like my train of thought, like where I was going. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell like two of my aunt's stories 
that she had here so there's like a downstairs room i don't know if i mentioned it earlier in this video i think i did but i don't explain like what it is it's just like a room downstairs that we've used for plenty of different things all the time when my aunt was staying here she was staying in that room and she was with her husband down there and like there's a door but there's also like a little curtain on the door so if you want to have the door open you could just like slide the little curtain and nobody bothers you or anything or you could just have them both closed or you could have them both open but they had the door open i guess they had the curtain like kind of like covering it or whatever and they were both laying in bed and they had a little air freshener like a little air freshener spray on the steps that you used to go down there and they just had it down in the, on the steps and she said that the the air freshener like pretend this is the air freshener right that happens to the air freshener and then she just hears like quick little running like in a different direction and she was like oh, these guys like like she just thought that it was like me or my brother right so she like a few minutes later comes into the room where me my mom and my brother were at nobody else is home other than us so she comes to the room where me my mom and my brother are at, and she's like hey did one of you guys just do that like why do you guys do that we're like what are you talking about and then she tells us what happened and we were like no that was none of us like it was not us like what the heck that's weird why would we do that and she was just like whoa and then we were like whoa i'm telling you bro these are some whoa kind of situations now another one that she also had was where she had this one truck it, i think it was called an xterra or something like that and she was cleaning it right out here this was actually like outside she was cleaning it i think she was like vacuuming it or something and she had the little keys that you know like the push ones that you lock and unlock she had those keys and um she was home alone at the time like nobody else was home not her husband not me my mom nor my brother nobody else was home except her and so she was cleaning her car and she had to have it unlocked because she was cleaning the inside well by the time she put the lock down she came to her car and it's locked but it's supposed to be unlocked because like i said she was cleaning her car then she goes she's like what the heck you know she doesn't think much of it she unlocks her car again puts the key down goes back to the car starts cleaning it all of a sudden you hear the lock to the car again and then she said what the fuck? she's home alone nobody can be doing that like what the heck it's not none of us so she's like what the heck then she put she goes and she unlocks it again puts the key down by the time she comes back to the car it was locked again and so she literally got frustrated to the point where she did it one more time she's like paying attention to it already she's angry about it and it happens again and then me and my mom and my brother pull up and it stopped happening you guys tell me that's a coincidence or something that is super weird that is not just a coincidence that was another story and those were like the stories from here at this house and that's not even including all of my stories and that's not even including my mom's stories so i'm telling you guys i believe in that stuff i feel like that stuff is real i feel like we all feel like there's like a spirit or something here at this house but we don't feel like it's a bad one like, so those were the experiences that i had here that my aunt had here i wish i would have remembered my mom's story like i should have asked her before i started filming this video it's freaking it's pretty scary and that was here that was at this house i've had like two more experiences with my own boyfriend like not even here um i only remember one clearly i remember there was two because i remember thinking damn i've already had two experiences over here so an experience that i had with my boyfriend is that we were gonna get ready to go to bed it was like pretty late it was like two in the morning and we were like, all right, like it's time to go to sleep. Like, let's go to sleep. I don't know if we had like work the next day or something, but we just decided like it's time to go to sleep. And we like said goodnight and stuff. We kiss, whatever, roll over. We go to, we're supposed to be going to sleep, right? All of a sudden, you know, like if you have an iPhone and you have the ringer on and you click on your keyboard, some people have it enabled, some people have it disabled. I think you can disable it or whatever. It's the keyboard click sound. So it literally, we heard, we both heard the sound of one just one little click from a keyboard when you have your ring on just one little click 
nothing else just one little click and i remember thinking in my mind like is this dude awake but i remember he charged his phone on my side of the bed so there's no way he would have even been able to have his phone like next to him so i quickly didn't think like okay like what the heck like maybe i didn't want to really think about it and then he comes and he like touches my face to see if my eyes were open i was like what the heck are you doing he's like are you on your phone and i was like no and then we were just like we both heard the same noise so we're like okay we we're thinking it was one or the other but it couldn't have been and we're just there like what the heck then what the heck is that literally a few seconds later at the time we were drinking a gallon of water a day right so we would have like gallons in the room sometimes and like if we would just finish a gallon we would just put it there and like get rid of it the next morning and we had a gallon on the little um on the dresser and literally as soon as we both like heard the keyboard click and we heard and we like looked at each other and we're like okay that wasn't me okay that wasn't me the gallon just falls on its own like on its own just falls how are you gonna tell me a gallon randomly falls off the counter after just chilling there like how does that make sense so these were just some of my little scary stories that i had to tell you guys um whether you believe in this stuff or not like i'm just saying what happened to me and i don't know what it could be but it's just too much of a coincidence to just be like nothing you know what i'm saying okay and also like at my old job when i used to work with my mom and my aunt everybody that worked there felt like that place was haunted the main place everybody thought was like haunted there was like the warehouse and it is split into two it is split into a building and b building so it's like divided you're in one aisle there's like a bunch of aisles and big old fish tanks right and in between the aisles like people like that's where you walk through right so literally you would be standing in one aisle like doing your job like whatever you were doing sometimes you had to be standing in the same spot for a good minute and people are constantly like walking around because they're doing other jobs like they're different from you sometimes not everybody's doing the same thing sometimes people are doing something with you but sometimes you would be alone and then other people would be doing other jobs and it requires you to walk to and from other places so there would be times where we just have to be standing still like doing whatever you're doing at a certain area in those aisles but you would see like a freaking shadow walk by but there would be nothing when you look up like you know the countless amount of times that i would be standing there and like from the corner of my eye i feel like someone's walking up to me but then i look and there's nobody there like the amount of times that that happened there is ridiculous ridiculous so one of the scariest situations that happened to me there i was actually walking in the warehouse i was walking through the back of the building i don't know what i was doing i think i was like it was like the end of the day or something i don't remember exactly what i was doing but I was walking down and I was looking forward so I'm looking down and I'm walking along the back side of the building and I see somebody in an aisle right and I hear like the, the little like you know when people drag their feet they're like like when people walk when they don't pick up their feet you know how they sound like they're dragging their feet well I heard the noise as if someone was dragging their feet and I really didn't pay no mind to it, but then I was like, oh, that's probably my aunt. Like, let me go talk to her. Like, I used to like to go and talk to her, just chill for a little bit. So I, over here, I'm over here going to my aunt to talk to my aunt. Because I don't know why, I just assumed that it was her. <laughs> but then I go back. And this was not even minutes later. It wasn't nothing. It was literally like, you're walking for a few seconds and you're like, all right, let me go, let me, let me go talk to her real quick. And I go back, absolutely nobody's there in that building nobody like not only in that spot where i thought someone was at but in that whole entire building and it's a huge building so if someone were there when i walked past it and then they left i would have been able to see because the building is so huge like you couldn't like it's not like you could get from one side to the other side like in a matter of seconds like it takes a good minute so i was like i was like oh heck no and i had to go and tell her and she was like because i legit thought it was her like i don't know why i thought it was her even if it could have been anybody else i would have just been oh my bad like i thought you were her nobody there was nobody there and then like to top it all off nobody in the building either like it would have made sense if somebody was like walking away and then like oh, okay it was just them but they they left nobody that is why i believe in that kind of stuff because 
it's too much to just be a coincidence to just be nothing all right you know what i'm gonna make a deal with you guys if multiple people comment down below like their scary stories or scary situations that they've been in i'm gonna be picking the best one and the best one is gonna get a shout out in my next video so comment down below guys all right guys i've been here for a good minute and i'm ready to go because it is too hot but if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video guys it takes like two seconds to subscribe so just hit that button i would really appreciate it and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah!